So now we got part A, we're going to move on to part B. Determine the period of oscillation. And again, I'm going to ask you, don't just fast forward through this, what is the symbol we use for period of oscillation? A and what is the equation that relates that to the other things that we've seen? Well, the period of oscillation is our capital T. And it's related to the angular frequency by 2 pi over the angular frequency. So again, we know these values, and I can plug those in using my 2 pi and the value I just got in part A, 3.61 radians per second. Plug that into your calculator, and you should get 1.74 seconds, rounding everything off. Again, make sure you do the calculations so that you can understand how to find these answers.